The Rambam holds that God intervenes, but he intervenes internally, not externally. Um, he intervenes by giving us the strength and the ability to connect to him, even at moments of great difficulty, and to transform the world according to Hashem's will. And I think that is one strand in Judaism. I think everyone must be eternally grateful to the Rambam for habilitating that strand in Judaism. And uh, the Rambam was consistent in this. He holds in his letter to the sages of Marseille, it was published for the first time in 1929, it's known as the Letter on Astrology. He says the Second Temple fell because Jews depended on some supernatural intervention instead of developing political and military strategy. So, you know, I think the Rambam is the natural voice in Judaism. Of course, there is a supernatural voice. Uh, but in an age of, of science and naturalism, you will always turn to the Rambam for a voice that, that as it were, speaks the same language as the world out there, the, the language of science. Judaism has another language and another sensibility, but uh, that, that we, you can't talk that language.